Hello and thanks for watching this video. I've, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it's probably one of the coolest things I've learned in the last, I don't know, six months. In the client data review, which you're using with your QuickBooks account edition, and this fix unapplied payments credits tool has, has been around since 2009, correct? So when you go in and, and try to apply a credit memo to an invoice, or maybe on the vendor side you have a, you know, a check to a bill, etc., sometimes you you actually create the AR credit or the AP debit, right? So the in the customer or vendor credit, if you will, using a journal entry. However, journal entries don't typically show up in here, right? So let's let me prove that. And I'm going to go to make journal entry, and I believe this would be for. Let me just check the date here, just to make sure. Okay, so July 2012. So I'm going to for. Uh, my customer called another CDR. I'm going to go ahead and credit AR, you know, 100 bucks. And I got to choose the name here. This would be another CDR. And I'm going to debit the income account. Doesn't really matter. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Say labor income. And I'm going to do, you know, 731 or something. There we go. Kind of bring it in the same period. And I'm not going to reverse. Okay, notice the journal entry does not show up here, right? And and that was that's the same on the payable side. And I was kind of wished it would. I'm sure you guys, because you guys do a lot of AR and AP journal entries. So you there is a way to make it show up. Again, just learned this today. Uh, Michelle Mortensen taught me, and she got it from a uh, tech support rep in Tucson. It's a great idea. So let me go back to uh, the journal entries here, and let me look at based on. Just not this. What's the fastest way to find that? This fiscal quarter to date. Now it's going to be this fiscal year to date. There we go. So there's the journal entry. If I uncheck the adjusting entry box in the journal entry and then click save and close, right? Click yes. The journal entry shows up in the, you know, fix unapplied payments and credits. And this would work too if it was a journal entry, uh, you know, of hitting AP or debiting AP and hitting a vendor. If you uncheck the adjusting journal entry box in the journal entry itself, then the journal entry will show up here. And now you can check off both. And I can go ahead and apply not only the journal entry, but the credit memo to the invoice to wash it out and go ahead and click save. I hope that was helpful. It's a cool little tip. It's probably been available since 09 as well. Just no one found it until, I don't know, last few months, but hope it's helpful and uh, have a great day.